here at Oz Comic Con and we've got Charles Martinet joining us. Charles, of course, is the voiceover man for Super Mario. How are you? Hello, Super Ben. Hello to all my friends in Australasia. It's me, Mario. Woohoo! You're number one. <laughs> Charles, how did you get into this world of Ben Kid? You know, I guess I'm the luckiest guy in the world. I, I, I became an actor by mistake because I, uh, you know, and I became a voiceover actor by mistake, and uh, and then all of a sudden one day I crashed an audition for an, Austra for, uh, an Australian plumber. It could have been an Australian plumber. <laughs> How about that for a difference? It was for an Italian plumber from Brooklyn, and I walked in the door. He said, "Start talking, make up a voice, make up a video game. Whenever you stop, that's the end of your audition." And I, I never stopped. You never stop. And is it one of those moments in your life that you look back on now and think, if I hadn't have done that, I wouldn't be where I am now? Because with that becomes not only being a celebrity, um, but it, it gives you a lifestyle as well. Yeah. And everywhere you look around, you must think, oh my God, there's... I created that. I, I am the luckiest guy in the world. I'm like the dog on the surfboard that sits there and enjoys the ride in. Because, you know, the creative teams at Nintendo, the, the wonderful people everywhere whose, whose love and joy and passion is video games inside of Nintendo, the fans that are, that are there, uh, that joy and that love has been just a, a, a tremendous gift for me to keep staying on that board and go, oh look, a little starfish, you know, <laughs> and just enjoy that beautiful ride. Cause, there's so much work that goes into a video game, and I come in at the very last minute, throw a little icing on the top of the cake, and people go, wow, what a chef. It am, but I, it's not me. <laughs> Who does Mario represent? What is he? You know, to me, I, I think it's, it's a tribute to the creative teams that he's lasted for more than 30 years, and is more popular now than ever. And that comes from the, the genuine nature of the fun, the joy, the, the, the adventure going into life. But for me, I love the character because of the optimism and the happiness and the fun that is expressed in everything. And then the integrity inside the game of everywhere you turn, everywhere you go, another great thing happens. And so that will always be the case. And so I think Nintendo and Mario will be around for many, 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 many more years. So were you a radio announcer at one point in your life? I never did radio announce. I did I did the promos on radio, you know, coming up next yeah. on the seven o'clock news at five. You know, that that sort of thing. I actually fell into voiceover acting. It was it was kind of silly. I was doing a the American Gothic as a commercial, you know, where, yes. where I used to stand there with the pitchfork and your wife was there. I was being very, very quiet, very you know, and we did that, and they lit it for seven hours, and they, yeah. we, we finally did it. And the producer said, that was great. Do you do voiceover? And I go, sure. <laughs> and just and I just it. waited until I hear and then read this. Yeah. Oh, then, then, oh, a voiceover. I mean, like a voiceover. I said, oh, it's supply hardware. The right item at the right price right now. Great, here's more money. I'm a voice actor. <laughs> now, did you ever quick. see that YouTube clip of that homeless man in America who was asking people for a dollar? And he had the world's God gave me a God given voice. And he was a voiceover man and he oh, became homeless. I did hear about His that story guy. is amazing. Yeah. But I teach in education, so I teach broadcasting and kids that are going into the world of radio and television. You're working in a world of gaming technology, yeah. which is one of the biggest growth industries of the world. Yeah. What advice do you have to kids that are doing, say, media studies in this world? How how is it that they can jump across from a world that maybe dying in the commercial sense of you know, boring old radio, um, into the world that you're in, this unreal world. My, I thank you for asking that question because that, is, that, that means actually quite a bit to me in, in life, is uh, always for me, you can never predict exactly what you want to do or be, per se, I mean, except, you know, except the occasional person. Yeah. But uh, you know, I could never say I want to be the voice of Mario, but I could say I want to be happy, I want to make people smile, yeah. I want a legacy of joy and happiness yes. and fun. And so that's what I pursued, and I just you know, bounced like the ping pong mm -hmm. ball that, that you know, found the right place, and, and there it was. And so my advice to everybody is, is that very thing, is do what you love in life. Follow your heart, your passion, your dreams. Build your passions and your joy and find out what it is that gives you the most fun, the most joy, that you can express that love for your family, your life, your, you know, all of that, all of is, and, and, and do that. And you'll find it, you may say, I want to be a voiceover actor, that's what I'm going to be. And maybe that will work for you exactly to be a voiceover actor. Or you might be started as a voiceover actor and someone says, hey, do you want to do it, direct this show? Sure, I'll direct this show, because it's part of my world. Or, hey, do you want to do an interview? Oh yeah, I'll do an interview. And then all of a sudden you branch towards something else and the motivation of happiness will bring you to that, that place. It's like resonant causation. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a wonderful way that you describe it. So your audience, 
when, when you see this Oz Comic Con thing and you're coming yeah. out to Australia, what do you think about the audience? What is it that, that you love about it? I love, I, well, I love my life in general. Mm -hmm. I have such a great time recording the voices, working with people that I absolutely love and, and enjoy being with all the time. Uh, you know, and, I, and then I come to, to a place like Oz Comic Con, I get to see the world, and I get to meet the best people in the world, Mario fans. And we need fans too, ha ha! <laughs> you know, and, and, and uh, I, to, to meet people and to uh, have that moment with them, an autograph or a, a, a photograph and jump, yahoo, together, is to share that joy and to share that fun. And, and that is really great. So, and also, what a thrill to be here for Oz Comic Con. But it, it, it's always a thrill to me to be in Australia. It's, it's such a gorgeous country, wonderful people, wonderful food, wonderful environment. And to be here for two weeks, because you know we're here in, in uh, Sydney this weekend, yes. and then the 17th and 18th, we're in Brisbane. So I get to see a city I've never seen before. Yippee, yippee. Uh, tell me, when, when you were um, doing all these voiceover things, do, do you go into a different world? Does it take you back to your childhood? I think I lived there to begin with, you know. And to me, it's a, but it is a switch when when someone when they call and say, "Hey, you know, Mr. Miyamoto would like you to record something," or "Hey, we want you to do something," I'm like, "Yahoo!" <laughs> it is it is this complete joyful fun thing, and it's a great thing. I love all the characters because, of course, they all have to be real, you know. That you have your film actors who have to just think something. Uh, a television actor that has to demonstrate a little bit. The opera star has to make it big, and the cartoon actors. <laughs> Everything's got to be big, so it brings out, elicits that huge joy in me, and I love that. So the power that you've got as a voice actor and as Super Mario, tell me, when you're putting all these elements together, you actually have a lot of power to change the world we live in, because you have a lot of influence. Does so that nice. go through your mind? Yeah. Not at all. I look at the character and I go, oh, what would he sound like? What would be fun? Because the truth has to be there with everybody, with every character. So Luigi has to be, you know, Wario, that has to be, that has to be his sort of like rage of the world. It has to be real. But to me, it always has to be fun. My, my philosophy is, is never hurt, never be hurtful, allow the comedy to come back. And, you know, it always has to be very real. And of course, for me, the most fun thing in the world is to be Mario because that is full joy and full excitement and, and fun. And well, I, I can that. tell you that when I worked on radio as an announcer, I always used to think every time I opened the microphone, this could be the last time someone listens to the radio. They could not be here. Wow. And so in my mind, it was always to make them happy. But I can tell you what you've done for people because in education, some of my students suffer from anxiety and depression. Mm -hmm. And I walked into a classroom once and other teachers would say, get them off YouTube, get them off this. And he was watching Super Mario. And I asked him a question. I said, what is it about him that you like so much that you can't do any work today? And he goes, he makes me laugh. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank so you. you don't realize the power that you actually have. You know, you, that, is, that is the yeah. truth, that every thought you feel, the yeah. think and emotion you feel, it does have a ripple effect in the world. And that's why if you're doing what you love in life, if you're doing what gives you joy in the expression of your, your soul, yourself, that, that gives the opportunity to, to touch other people. I think it's amazing. So see how we were just talking to Super Mario and we got the real Charles just there. He dropped yeah. right down into that real mode. Charles, thank you for joining us. We look forward to seeing you at Oz yeah. Comic Con. We're gonna have lots of fun. Thank you very much. Yeah, we're just gonna be great. Come on out and join us this weekend and next weekend. Mamma mia, you guys are you number one. Woo-hoo!